Hey guys, Pub Kicker here again. Uh, gonna do uh, a quick video of a, uh, a project that I've done a long time ago before I even started my YouTube stuff. Uh, but it'll be a quick video um, explaining what I'm doing. I'll spin the camera around here right now and, and show you. This is for the, uh, it's a OCC Schwinn chopper bike that I've modified to make uh, a motorized chopper out of it. But uh, without further ado, let's get right to it and I'll show you what I've done and what I'm going to do to put it back together. So here we go. Alright, this is the bike that I've built. Um, it was already a bicycle, but... I'll show you real quick of what I've done. I, uh, as you can see, I've cut right here. I cut the, the frame right here and right here. I added 12 inch bar right here. Uh, I shoved it up inside of here and up inside of here. And I welded all the way around it, cleaned it up a little bit. And then right here, I also cut it, shoved this pipe up inside of here and in here, and I extended it also to make it longer. And then the bottom of it, uh, I cut this bottom tube off right here, and I've welded a flat plate in here to mount the motor. And then I took an old bolt, filled in my gap, and welded it all around it. And then the motor is a Honda GX160. Uh, it's just a little 5.5 horsepower with a centrifugal clutch on it. And I've built a jack shaft for it. This is all a uh, number 40 chain. It, it runs from the, the uh, centrifugal clutch to the jack shaft. And then it'll run, it'll kick itself over to here. Then it'll run back here to a sprocket that I will have, that I've got welded on the back of here. I've got my idler chain or idler pulley right here. This keeps tension on the chain, keeps it from bouncing. This is my spring that I have to help it. Uh, other than that, guys, it's pretty pretty straightforward. Three quarter inch cold roll steel, uh, solid axle. It's a shaft. The sprockets are also, um, I think they're 12 tooth, number 40 chain, three quarter inch bore uh, with a hub. These are the sprockets you can get off of uh, surplus center. You have to weld them on to each other. As you can see, I don't have these ones. Uh, well, you can see I don't have it welded just yet. All i got to do is just put it down on there and, and weld it. But uh, I get it all together, get it all mocked up to where I, I need it. I'll weld the sprockets to the hubs on both of them. Then I'll... Uh, I'll spot weld this pillow block bearing right here and on the other side right on the inside right here that way the shaft cannot move back and forth and I'll also I'll have it out about right there and I have the chain on it and what I'll do is I'll spin the back tire after I get the chain on it without welding the, the sprockets yet to the shaft that way it allows that chain to move that sprocket where it needs to be to be in line. So um, let me get all this stuff bolted down, get the chains on it, and I'll show you. Uh, all right, guys, there you go. I'm going to give it a little bit of throttle and show you it all works. Get, let me get you off the tripod here. I'll show you what I've gotten done. Um, I made the jack shaft, I made the chains, all that. Um, <clears throat> I welded a little washer on here because uh, this is an old pump motor, and uh, the chemicals they pump through it for farm usage will it rust up the uh, inside bolt hole that holds the washer or bolt whatever inside the shaft. 
So I just tack water the a washer there to keep the clutch from sliding off. Ran the chain, put a master link in it. Welded the inside right here. If you can see, I've got a couple little tack welds there. It'll hold it. Tack welded the uh, jack shaft to the uh, three-quarter block bearing to keep it from moving side by side on both sides. Then I kicked back over here. <clears throat> Here we go. Uh, keep back over here. I've tack welded this one on here also to keep it from uh, walking this hub and sprocket off. Got my tensioner on there. As you can see, it keeps the down tension on the chain. Keeps it from flopping up and down. Uh, comes back to the sprocket on the wheel. And it's pretty tight. You don't want it real, real tight because uh, that's what the, uh, the tensioner does. Keeps the slack. But it... it Runs and rides great. All I'm waiting for now is the hand throttle. I will be changing out these handlebars because they go to my other bike. I'll put the stock uh, black handlebars on there that I had. But other than that, it's done. I've welded a solid shaft through here where the uh, bicycle pedals used to be. And I've welded uh, the bicycle pedals to the shaft. That's where your feet set. I had to cut that uh, that guard that went around the chain, and uh, you can see I cut it there and I cut it down at the bottom. But other than that, that is how I've I've built that. I have a disc brake made on the back hub of the wheel. I uh, welded a disc on the rim, put the uh, brake caliper on there, and ran my cable up to here. It does not stop it instantly, but it does slow you down. So. Uh, this thing with me on it will run about 45 mile an hour. That's plenty fast enough for a bicycle, trust me. Uh, anything, <laughs> actually, you know, the bearings have held up great for me. I wouldn't recommend, recommend you use the stock bearings, but that's what I've done. I'd recommend getting some, some better bearings for the wheels. If you're going to go fast, you need better bearings. But anyhow... Um, I am not keeping this. I've sold it to a buddy of mine. He is the one that has furnished the motor, the clutch, chain, sprockets, hubs, pillow block bearings, everything. All I basically done was put it all back together for him. I built the bike. This is the same exact setup that I had on it when I was riding it before. Uh, if you have any questions, just post them down in the comment section below and I'll try to do my best to answer your questions. Thank you. Um, as always, safety first. Be careful riding stuff like this. But this is just how I've done it. God bless you all. And remember, don't buy it. Build it if you can. Coming straight up out the woods where I love to stay. It's that country white boy that you love to hate. Pushing them four wheel drives because we love some mud. And when we party, we ain't stopping till the sun come up.